about two and a half months ago, I made a video about a worm composting bin that had been taken over by mites. I oppose composting because it brings into existence huge numbers of bugs who endure painful deaths not long after birth. However, my housemate maintained that bin despite my protests. The initially explosive mite population declined as the bin began to dry, and eventually we emptied the bin outside. Leftover was this tray on which the bin had been sitting. This video shows some mites and caterpillars that were left over on this tray. Filming was done on 15 July 2016 near Albany, New York, USA. Here you can see mites crawling amidst dirt and detritus. There seem to be tons of dead brownish bugs, which is a sad reminder of how much pain and death occur in a compost bin. I suggest that people dispose of food scraps by sealing them tightly in plastic bags or other containers and then throwing them out so that most of the organic matter will be decomposed by bacteria in a landfill rather than by more sentient bugs. On this tray were also some caterpillars. I'm unsure what kind of caterpillars these are, but they look a lot like closed moth larvae. And I unfortunately have many closed moths in my house. According to this page, webbing closed moth larvae, quote, frequently spin a flat mat of silken webbing, or construct a loose silken tube, and then feed from beneath this protective covering of silk. The larvae will weave small fibers from the food material among the silken strands, making the webbing difficult to detect, end quote. You can see here that the caterpillar's silken tube includes lots of dead bugs in it. These caterpillars seem to recoil from the light of my microscope camera, which may be why these caterpillars were squirming as they were being filmed. This jibes with the hypothesis that these are closed moth larvae, because according to this article, quote, both adults and larvae prefer low light conditions. Whereas many other Tuniidae are drawn to light, common clothes moths seem to prefer dim or dark areas. If larvae find themselves in a well-lit room, they will try to relocate under furniture or carpet edges. End quote.